Hello and welcome to Willie's Craft Room. In today's film I'll be showing you how to get professional results like these using your favourite ribbon. For this project you'll need double sided tape, your favourite ribbon, a sharp pair of scissors and if you want to follow along to make the card shown in the example here, you'll need a piece of embossed cardstock embossed using your favourite cuttle bog folder and a base card created from A5 cardstock scored and folded in half. One quick tip before we get started, if you place a roll of tape on your table and place your ribbon within that, it makes it easy to dispense them at the length of ribbon that you want without having to chase your ribbon all around the table. Here's a piece of embossed cardstock that I'm going to use on the front of the card. It's been embossed using the Cuttlebug embossing folder Perfect Paisley. As you can see, there's been a ribbon tied around the front of the card. To help keep the ribbon in place as you tie, apply a piece of double sided tape to the back of the embossed cardstock. Remove the backing from the double sided tape. Next, take your ribbon and fold it in half. Wrap it around your finger and line up the two ends. Make sure that your ribbon is flat while you do this. Leaving your finger in the ribbon, place it down on the centre of the sticky tape and release the ends. Press down the ribbon onto the tape and you'll have a good fix. Turn the card over take the right ribbon and put it towards the left and the left ribbon towards the right. Take the piece on the top tuck it underneath With your left hand, form a loop. With your right hand, go around that loop, ensuring the ribbon is flat, and tuck it up underneath, thus forming the second loop. Pull to create the bow. Adjust the size of the loops by pulling on the tails. As you can see here, this gives you a nice flat knot in the centre of the bow. As you can see on the original piece, there's a nice fishtail or notch effect on the end of the ribbons. To achieve this, take a sharp pair of scissors, fold the bow along its length, measure to where you want to cut the ribbon, angle the scissors and cut. This creates the notch effect on the end of the bow. Do the same on the other side. Fold the ribbon in half where you want to cut. Bring the scissors in at an angle and snip through. I hope you can see there the cutaway or notch on the tails of the ribbon. To finish the card, apply double sided tape to the back of the embossed piece. I'm going to go all around the sides of the cardstock to ensure it stays in place. As you can see, I'm using a different pair of scissors to cut the sticky tape. Double-sided tape will always leave a gluey residue on your scissors, which can be removed by using 
alcohol based baby wipes but it's a lot easier just to dedicate a pair of scissors to the task and you guarantee then that you don't get any sticky where you don't want it. Remove the backing from the double sided tape and attach to your base card. For a professional finish add a colour coordinated insert to your card. Here's a picture of the card once it's been completed. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.wordpress.com.